He was so tired <laughs> and teething. He had some drool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just one of our favorite pictures of Sam. Sam Levesque was born in 2010, arriving into this world looking perfectly healthy. That changed rapidly. Sam had Tay-Sachs disease. It destroys the brain and there is no cure. I remember going through shock, disbelief, and um, the term palliative hadn't really made any sense to me at that time. Chio referred the family to Roger Nielsen House for children needing palliative care and for their parents and siblings requiring support. On this wall, the children remembered. About 370 little ones who have passed on since the house was built in 2003. Way too many stars on that wall. There was this support here at the house when we needed it, you know. Knowing that Sam was going to be a star was devastating for Sam's sisters who were enrolled in the spectacular, incredible Brave Siblings program, or SIBS. It connected them with other children who have lost a sibling or are about to. Well, it was good to hear their story, to see like how they felt and stuff, like how what we went through. Just as adults need a community, and children need that same kind of community, uh, to know that they're not alone. It felt really nice to, to have a brother. Sam Levesque died in June 2016 at his home three hours from Ottawa. And his family celebrated his most recent birthday with a campfire near the cemetery where he is buried. The family still keeps in touch with the many friends they made at Roger Nielsen House. But these two girls thrived in allowing him to live a life and to know his secret language and to know his nonverbal cues and to really celebrate him. Lots of good have, has come from our experience, lots of people we've um, met and um, a different focus, I guess, on what, what's important in life. Thanks to Chio and Roger Nielsen House, the Levesques have a strong community of bereaved families. He was like really special because not many kids his age were like that and not many kids with Tay-Sachs disease lived that long. Sam and his family. Just one example of those being helped at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. Please give generously to help families like the Levesques.